to. It's going to be Zen. It's a six milligram. It's a spitless pouch, and it doesn't actually have any tobacco in it. But it does have nicotine. I have tried these before. Michael here has not. So we're going to get his first reactions on it, and then I'll just kind of give you what I think of it. You ready? Yeah. I feel like it's going to burn. Let's smell it first. Tell them what it smells like. It smells like a fucking peppermint candy. Honestly, thought they would be a little bitter. No, they're just little white pouches. Do you usually do upper or lower? I usually do upper decker with these. So, it's kind of what they are. I'll throw one in with you. Yeah, they take a minute to uh, start juicing up. Yeah. Oh, wow, that doesn't actually like, pop on. But... Cans are weird. It's all plastic. I like a chalky texture to it. Um, yeah, kind of. I've never realized it before. <laughs> like, I used to use these things so much. I used to th throw like three or four of the six milligram pouches in, which is what we have. That's what I do now with regular pouches. I, I have to put fucking like two or three in there, mainly two. That is just not the same. Yeah. I don't have an issue with it. Is that for you yet? I feel a little burning, but it says I don't have any flavors. No, well, they're sort of flavorless. I mean, when they really start. Plus, you won't get much juices, upper decker. Yeah, I just put it in lower right now. I keep it upper decker. I mean, you don't really get too much saliva to have to spit. And then on top of that, you know, you don't you still get the nicotine, by the way. The other I'm flavors. It now. They have cinnamon and coffee and other stuff. They have coffee? Mm -hmm. That's weird. I think. Pretty sure they do. Yeah, the ones I saw were... Cinnamon, wintergreen, and mint, I believe. Mint, yeah. I don't know that's one. Oh, that's where they average store. They don't have all the flavors at the store, but they have most. Finally juiced up. Mine's still not juicing, but that's just because it's upper decker and it's really not going to juice. It's a powder, so. Wait, you know the powder? Mm hmm. The powder. What? You didn't know that? No. Oh. oh, that's probably why it was all like, that chalky. Mm hmm. Because it's a powder. That's one of the, when I have issues with these, that's one of the issues I have is because some of my pouches will break and the powder mm -hmm. goes everywhere. It looks like they have excess powder in here. Yep. Damn. So, that's basically what's inside the pouches there. I don't want to oh, no, it's fucked up. So, that's just the powder that's on the inside. You should scoop some of it and lick it. I'm good. Come on. Find some on the rim and just scoop it and lick it. You can feel it once you start moving around in there. It's a little weird. Yeah. Imagine taking those fucking the lifesavers, the mint ones, mm -hmm. crushing it up into a powder, and that's what it's like. <laughs> oh, mint lifesavers. Fair enough. Fucking at when we used to go to church, they always had them at the bathroom, and everyone would steal about ten of them. <laughs> Why in the bathroom? That's a weird place for them. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep mints in the bathroom. So if you ever see those Crush your teeth. little white mint things. You know where they're from. The bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> if I saw those in the bathroom, I don't know if I'd take any. I would be very suspicious of them. But they're in packages. I'd still be very suspicious of them. They're in the bathroom. Like, I wouldn't even want to touch them. 
Yeah, just you don't know someone didn't wash their hands and fucking put them on the pal package. So if you're like me, I fucking use my teeth to rip stuff open and that. I feel bad now. You probably had someone stick in your mouth. <laughs> That's bad. Alright, so what we have in store for you guys this week is a plug review. And we're going to be reviewing some juice from a local vape shop as well. We got like five different juices. So we also did come up with a scheduling for everything. Uh, we're going to be doing Twitch Monday, Wednesday, Friday, anywhere between 8 and 9 p.m. That's what time zone are we in? General Mountain Time. So then for here, it's going to be... Tuesday, Thursday, and one of the weekend days. So either Saturday or Sunday, whichever it gets uploaded. So the weekend is just kind of for us to catch up on everything, figure out what we're doing for the week. Editing. And, and editing, dealing with family stuff, so on and so forth. Because <laughs> this family, oh. a lot of family drama. So that's kind of what that looks like if you guys... If we do miss an update, don't worry about it. Uh, if we don't set on a certain time, you can always turn your notifications on. You'll get notified whenever we upload. Go to stream to Twitch and turn on notifications there. That way you guys get notified there as well. And once again, there should be a couple more videos here and there because next, well, yeah, next week we go to Great Lakes and we're definitely recording all that fun. <laughs> We'll have a travel vlog for you, for you guys. We'll also have my first reaction on a plane. And hopefully a prank war. Oh, jeez. Someone's getting saran wrap over their toilet. We did that to a kid and fucking... Uh, we went to church camp up in Bidbear, California. We duct taped him to his bed. And then we duct taped the bed to a tree outside. And it was mo like 30 degrees up there. That sounds like fun. Yeah. Good to live. Fuck yeah. Taste pepper spray. So you can't do anything. It's pepper spray, his handcuffs, his beaten pole, all of it. FYI, he's a security guard. That's why he has all that stuff. <laughs> I'll mention that first, but yeah. Nah. Make him sound like a creeper. It's all good. Once you'll see him, you'll know why. Definitely have. I want to so, do with you. You feeling it? Yeah, a little bit. I like that it's a subtle flavor, it's not overpowering once it's juiced up. Definitely be nice on a plane. Think about getting a cinnamon one for the plane. Uh, no, I don't like cinnamon. See, I can do like the cinnamon toothpicks mm -hmm. that they've dipped in cinnamon oil. And yeah, those are good. Oh, you can get wintergreen toothpicks at the mall. You never heard of those? Like nicotine toothpicks or no? No, just mall. regular. That's no fun. That's what I used to have during school. But nicotine's fun. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I feel it. You feel it now? The more I move around, I feel it in my head. I still don't feel anything. That's just because I use them so often. Yeah. So, but, you know, I can still throw like three, four pouches in and not feel it. See, I feel this more than I do with dip. Well, you're also six milligrams. Yeah. Pretty sure it's higher than... Most steps. Yeah, don't quote us on that though. Uh, so, I don't get much of a flavor anymore. Then again, I do have an upper decker, so. Yeah. So, once I put it back up, upper decker, once it juiced up, I didn't, am I getting much flavor? I don't know, I used them a lot for school and work. When I was in school. My dad doesn't care what I do. <laughs> Especially now that I'm of age. Yeah. So. My mom still cares that I dip. She doesn't want me to dip. And again, she doesn't want me to vape either. She thinks it's worse than cigarettes. And she thinks all the flavors smell like burnt sugar. <laughs> Why? I don't know. See, that's what I hate sometimes. Some flavors will smell so good, but when you taste it, it's just, it's not the same. Yeah, better smell than it does taste. Yeah. 
and then some of them taste better than they do smell. Yeah, I should definitely do a video on Leo's car hot pot in it. Last time I did that, I destroyed my coil. Yeah, but you have an RDA. That's true. I now have two RDAs, so. Technically, I have two and a half. Because my coil, my tank counts as RDA. The RBA? Yeah. So. Still need to sell that fucker. Yeah. So, but again, they're good for school work. You know, anywhere you're not allowed to vape or dip, you know, whatever the case is, you can always just throw one of these in. You can't see it. And you still get your nicotine. So. And since they're completely tobacco free, they can't really say anything about it either. That's true. Like school. Schools are tobacco free zones. There's no tobacco. Yeah. There's absolutely no tobacco in it. Although. What I just realized on the back of it, it says the nicotine is derived from tobacco leaves. Which, I mean, that makes sense. And then you can see it, like, right around here, go away. That's gonna bug me. So, overall, better, than, better flavor than I thought it would be. Better head rush, too. Was that you weren't gonna that, get yeah. anything. <laughs> Nope. You get everything. Definitely one of those would do for a while. Yeah, they're like, supposed to last about an hour. I've had them in for three hours before and still felt it. I definitely forget I had this in my mouth, though. I've done that before. Legit, I forgot I had one in. I'm like, what the hell is up in my teeth? I'm like, oh, yeah. So I have that pouch in. And then I forget how long I've had it in, so I just pitch it. Whatever. I actually did it at work, too. When I forgot I had it. I used to get in trouble a lot at work because I'd spit so much. You know, whether I'm dipping or not, I'd spit so much. And I hated it. Whatever. It doesn't faze me at all. Yeah. Well, I don't care. I'm spit where I want to, when I want to. Nice head rush? Yeah, it's gone now. Well, I just, I've never got one. I feel like it's there. You're like staring off into space. No, I'm th I saw your tattoo, dude. I'm like, ooh. You should either make a video about getting a tattoo or giving a tattoo. You have a tattoo gun, don't you? No, I don't have my gun anymore. I have my fucking power for it, but... Yeah, or more tattoo guns. I don't know what the fuck happened to them. I had eight guns and they just disappeared. Get another one. You can give me a tattoo. I don't care. That would give you my technically fourth tattoo, but third tattoo, actual third tattoo. Because my friend Seth, like, shaded his U of A. And then I gave him a. I like to do the star. jackass logo on my left calf. I'm down. You gotta get the whole calf, though. Just like. That big. No, it's not that bad. So I gave him the five, the star, the typical one everyone gets mm -hmm. with five two all around it, and then I gave this that chick the cross with the infinity logo. Oh, okay. Same one Alex has, just smaller. Just small. I still want to get a new tattoo. I still got to finish this one. Yeah. That one's gotta get finished. Kind of small. So I gotta get it resized. Cause this was a Friday the thirteenth tattoo, so I gotta get it bigger. And then all the shading and everything else with it. So it should end up covering all right here. And then I'll get the American flag down here. So it should just kinda See how I thought about that getting the American flag or something right here, but like it's ripping through your skin. No, I want my American flag to tie into this one and then I'll get the Confederate right here. I don't know what I'm gonna put here yet. I haven't decided. See, I wanted to get my tree finished up with the crows going around my arm and forming, like they fly into the moon, but they're forming the moon at the same time. Had that quoted about, said it was gonna be at least $2,000 because back tattoos are outrageous. 
I still need to get the 3D rib cage on my rib cage. Get my back pieces done. I got a lot of tattoos of mine, but no money. <laughs> yeah, right. But two of my tattoos I got done. This one for my wife and daughter. And this one, because, you know, Naruto. <laughs> got that from a buddy for like $50 each. My eye is fucking was 400. This was from 300 to reviewing our tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. So, little update. The video quality should be better next week and be able to make a lot more videos because we finally we're finally getting camera, an actual camera, not a, not a phone. phone. <laughs> Just gotta use a phone using a. Baby high chair right now to get it closer because in the last video someone had commented that the video was we were too far away and the, what we had it on that thing sucks to move so like we have my dresser stuff. and TV so yeah. find our channel find this video make sure you like no, put the notifications on and share it with your buddies and that does it for this one all right. Adiós.